What's up, witches? Um, I'm going to keep this video brief, but as a voodooist witch, which is the title that I claim, I mean, no, well, actually, I'm kind of an eclectic witch, so there's things about Buddhism that I love, um, there's things about Catholicism that I love, um, but the religion that I, I love Wicca too, Wicca is a cool religion, but the thing that I gravitate to the most is voodoo. Because voodoo is a religion. It's actually based from the oldest religion in the world. So, um, anyway. But in voodoo, in the religion of voodoo, we believe that there are spirits called the Loa. Um, and, because we believe in one supreme god, but we also believe in the Loa, which are the nature spirits. And they're sort of like demigods. Let me put it that way. And there's a Loa of the forest. There's a loa of the, um, the oceans and bodies of water. There's the loa of the warlike loa who fight your battles for you. But I just want to talk about how I sort of see them because some voodooists kind of see them in a very literal way as like people. You know, there's the loa called La Sirene, um, which in French it means the mermaid, but because a lot, there's a lot of French language in voodoo. But, you know, La Sirene is, um, a lot of voodooists see her as a mermaid who rules over the oceans and um, sort of has this whole personality of hers. Now, to me, when I think of La Sirene, I think of this, like, pulsating energy that exists everywhere in any body of water um, or everywhere in the ocean. Um, you know, when I think of... Uh, Dubois, which is the loa of the forest and wooded areas. I don't, I don't see the loa as being, you know, these people. I don't see them as people. I see them as this spiritual kind of consciousness that resides over their domains. You know, when I think of the loa of the forest, I just, in my mind, I sort of envision this, like, atmosphere, this conscious spiritual atmosphere that just sort of permeates through the woods. Um, and that's how I feel about it. That's how I see it in my mind's eye. But the truth is that it's invisible. We can't see it. But like the loa of the forest in wooded areas, they sort of, everything falls into place the way they manipulate it. You know, why does a bird choose to eat that seed instead of that one? Why does that squirrel eat that nut instead of that one? Um, why did this insect decide to start singing when it did? You know, all of these things in the domain of the, um, the forest loa, it's sort of like everything falls into place the way that that consciousness sort of wants it to. But it's just this atmosphere that exists everywhere in their domain. Um, this this it's funny if somebody's not like a witch they will not know what the fuck I'm saying right now <laughs> they won't know what the fuck I'm saying but um anyway that's how I see the loa um and I think for most people seeing them as like a person or like Papa Legba seeing Papa Legba as like a, an actual person that has arms and legs and all that I think it's just a way to sort of um, compartmentalize what that is in a more simplistic way. Um, now there are Buddhists who definitely will see Papa Legba as an actual man, but I don't see him that way. Um, anyway, I love you guys and I just wanted to say this video, uh, I just wanted to make this video real quick and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.